How does an ammonite become fossilised? Well, around 150 to 200 million years ago, in the Jurassic period when dinosaurs roamed the Earth, these shelled, squid-like creatures were plentiful in oceans. For some reason, this particular ammonite died. Its shell ended up on the seabed, and the soft, squishy parts of the ammonite were either eaten or they broke down over time. The shell was then covered in silt or sand which protected it from damage and over time, gradually, the ammonite shell was buried. After thousands of years, many, many layers of sand covered the shell and gradually that sand became sandy rock. The shell survives, but the wide spaces inside the shell are filled with water that seeps in through the rock. The water carries dissolved minerals as the years passed, indeed as millions of years passed, the depth of the ocean gradually reduced until eventually the area in which the shell was originally buried was on dry land. The minerals form crystals, which are a kind of hard rock inside the shell. Over time, the rock around the fossil, made of the sand or silt, eroded as a result of wind or rain until the hard rock of the fossil is left uncovered and exposed, all ready to be found by a paleontologist like this one.